Hey everybody, this is Ryder and we're back to Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Now, it's been quite a while since I last played, so I really have no idea where we are in the story. And I guess I'll just have to leave it at that. And we'll just have to see if, see where the map points. We're supposed to find, we're still looking for the silver box of Z Shell. And I guess I'm probably working my way towards this tomb. Or wait a minute, no. Now I remember. We couldn't get into this tomb because we didn't have the shotgun. Then we crossed a path that we really couldn't cross back. And we're potentially going to fight those pygmy warriors and do a linear path. Potentially back circling to this point or just circling all the way back to the hidden city. Um, I have since, uh, last recording, watched some YouTube videos showing me some of the coverage of the original, it seems like there's six Tomb Raider games. I feel like at least two of them are not available on PC uh, at all, um, maybe five or six, and that there was even a reboot before this reboot by the original creators of Eidos. Uh, in inherently Lorecroft as a series or Tomb Raider as a series is kind of this very troubled experience because here's some of the Trinity guys dead from I assume the Pygmy Warriors. Like the original creator seems like from what I was what I saw on the YouTube video uh, really stopped working on the game after the first game or had considerably less input after the first game and the second game in the series is more violent with more humans wanting to go around quite like this game compared to the first game which was really just animals. And being in more tombs, second game had more locations where you are in human environments, modern environments, cities, places like that, facilities where you would run into more humans. Um, let's see. Fire a shotgun at the barrier to destroy it. So that's where we're where we're going. Unless we could possibly get back down there. There is definitely something missing from the reboot series in that you just don't have as athletic of a Lara Croft in this game than you did in the original series. Because, uh, yeah, I don't think going that way would get me that direction, which is where I would want to go. Although it might cycle back. Um, am I supposed to pull this down? Effigy sigils. Apparently I am. Um, but yeah, she never does the handstand. And she's not ever really in more of a open flowing tomb like in the first game it's all very linear uh, tombs and paths she she doesn't do a side jump like to dodge which was kind of iconic and one of the things that the YouTube video really got on as an idea is just how well the rest of the video game industry was able to steal and improve on the ideas of Tomb Raider 1 and Tomb Raider 2 and how much the almost 100% consistent 8 month development cycles for Tomb Raider 3, 4, 5, 6 uh, Chronicles Legacy um, all of that never really allowed them to 
innovate any further past that point and it really just created the situation where they were milking Tomb Raider um, Eidos was and their publisher which at some point it, the Eidos fell afoul of the publisher and eventually Eidos went out of business and the rights were transferred from the publisher which was the parent company of Eidos uh, to Crystal Dynamics and then seemingly very quickly at that point also sold to Square Enix uh, the rights the right to make the game as a developer with the Square Enix the rights to own Tomb Raider Lara Croft as a character it's seemingly almost 100% default of the parent company the publisher that Lara Croft was promoted after the first game as a sexualized character heavily over sexualized even even um, because they promoted her that way and uh, it all started with them hiring cosplayers basically to promote the first game and having the cosplayers at E3 and then getting a nice reception from uh, what would have been your stereotypical nerds or you would have assumed were your stereotypical nerds uh, being anywhere close to pretty ladies and ironically all that promotion they had to start to fight and uh, and stop using as an advertisement trick because they wanted the Tomb Raider, the first Tomb Raider movie with Angelina Jolie to be PG-13 13. so basically a couple years after modders had made like a nude mod which would have been kind of brand new as an idea for at least 3D games since Tomb Raider itself was one of the very first 3D games uh, of note uh, the fan made nude mod they DMCA'd and took down and then they tried their very best to undo history But you can't really unring the bell once you establish Lara Croft as a femme fatale type character. There's no way to unestablish her as that character. And in all fairness, I would say that it wasn't just Laura Croft. The later games have straight up uh, other characters that are also drawn and animated to be Tim Patel or even a male character I think what we're gonna find here is that these guys are heavily armored Like, it's funny, we've got like this silent sound effect, and it, it doesn't really make a lot of sense that these guys would have shotgun shells on them. Time to move. So I assume I'm searching bodies and getting resources, 
and then the rest of the bullets are in these bullet boxes. Standing next to that seems to make you cough. And I didn't really see a interaction between that and the other enemies though. So yeah. One of the things that does stand out, though, now that I feel like I have a better understanding around the earlier Tomb Raider games without actually having played them. Um, let's see if this breaks with an arrow, just to be informed on that. Um, is that it does seem like there was a lot more dialogue and characterization in around the third or fourth Tomb Raider game although at one point they also tried to throw in a pseudo RPG mechanic and so they tried to innovate or, but it didn't really work um, but in general I'd say 1, 2, and 3 does have Lara Croft actually talk to people and actually have a narrative a personality where particularly in this game she just feels right. what now? completely personality -less. I guess we're breaking this And since there was a reboot before, there are effectively three timelines. One of those timelines definitely has the mother dying, I think, in a very different way. Um, and at one point, they ended one of the Tomb Raider games with Lara Croft actually being dead and we're trying to kill off the character. This rosary has six decades instead of the usual five. A very ornate example of the Brigantine version. There appears to be an engraving. Andreas Lopez. Yeah, I have no idea who that is. I don't think I was paying attention even when before I took a fairly long break. Um, let's see, and then we just turn here. I assume this is going to click into place, but maybe not. And see, there we just had like a, a kind of big boss fight, and yet the game seems more than happy to have you move forward from that boss fight and kind of forget that it even exists. gather some air there are magical items in this universe it wouldn't be crazy to give her a magical item to be able to pull out a gun and then press A and dodge 
even if it wasn't the jump up in the air and do a cartwheel style of um, shooting. I'm trying to see which one is even reload. I've forgotten the button layout. Um, and yeah, the first Tomb Raider game was very grid based, so because it was grid based you had very kind of tight control around um, where a potential jump would land none of that acrobatics really exists in this rebooted series there's no I've got to run forward and press A to jump. Have to find a way or I have to not run forward and just slightly press forward to, to jump a little bit. Or have a full run. Undated. Strange warriors pursued us through the caverns. We moved quickly, too quickly for an accurate description. Most of the soldiers fell in battle. They were valiant, but outmatched and outnumbered. Eventually, Lopez, I, and a single surviving soldier reached a magnificent temple. I cannot imagine how the people managed to build such a structure so deep underground. A massive door blocked our progress. Lopez, his voice frantic and breaking, ordered Perez, the last remaining conquistador, to stand guard while we worked on the mechanism. The door began to roll open. Our celebration of success was drastically cut short by the dying screams of Perez. The sound haunts me still. And we're still having just complete flow-breaking scenarios here where you're attacked by one person maybe you would have gotten hit by the trap then been attacked by one person meanwhile I have to look over here to see this white wall and then just assume that that's a crawl space and then we're back down to sliding on the wall Yeah, and I feel like you would have died in any other scenario. That was an interesting thing too, is that even in the first game, the animator who was animating all the death sequences was enjoying that, that more. But definitely by the third game, that animator was, the, was lovingly animating Plastic the death sequences of Laura Croft because... The they really had developed a lot of resentment. I found Lopez still staring at the fire, though now it was nothing but coals. I asked him if he'd heard the noise as well, but all he did was grunt. I wrapped a blanket about his shoulders and built up the fire again. Then I sat and listened. Far off shrieks and hisses, likely distorted by the twists of the caverns. But underneath all those sounds, I heard a faint thrum. I've heard something like that before, but rarely and only when in the deepest of prayers it sounded like the voice of God yeah I, I don't think I'm really expressing it well enough it's just how much they were overworked on the particularly the first three Tomb Raider games and that they were basically working 24-7 or no, I think they said 12-hour shifts, not 24-7, that would be crazy. 12-hour shifts, seven days a week for potentially three, three plus years. Now this is an interesting reveal Look at all this. of a tomb. What's behind that door? You're just in a cutscene there. My guess is that I don't know how you'd break this, but it definitely seems breakable. 
My guess is that these pygmy warriors are trying to protect the silver box. Some of these plants I'm going to just be full on though. So, yeah, I don't know if I'm supposed to look around some more, if I'm just supposed to go to the door. I guess one of the things that I could would speculate about, and I guess you can't really prove it, is that because... Nintendo made Mario it's it's obvious that he would be just like the icon uh, the mascot that that you would use where Laura Croft even though I would have just by default kind of thought she was a PlayStation icon she's really not Sony like Sony wasn't involved. So, while Sony may have benefited from Lara Croft games as much as some other consoles I imagine benefited from her, I don't think anybody was willing to commit fully to her being the mascot. Anytime I see an area like this, I'm kind of assuming that there would be something to dig up or find, but weirdly, that seems like that isn't the case. The box could be here. Shell and Shack Shell protecting the box. Now you'd think walking up to the door might point you in a direction so you wouldn't rely on the player using their survival instincts to reach a certain area. Will that really kill him with fire? I don't have enough space for that. Just a lot of everything. <laughs> See what you might expect to happen here is to have a like opening of the world I can't even pick up the resources that's on that guy um, but I also can't really do anything with the resources until I find another campfire but yeah I could see the world opening up some more I missed a survival cache and Honestly, at this point, I don't really care. I question if I'm really going to try and get everything in this game. Almost certainly not. Like, having taken this long break is just one of those indicators um, that my interest is not being held by the series in general. So pretty obviously you, you're not in a good position to 
use arrows. You need to use the shotgun. Have to get the water flowing to the wheel. Now we're back to one of these scenarios Have where to they're the going to, to the wheel. give me hints every time I turn on survival mode. Have to get the water flowing to the wheel. We're getting reduced. think that actually killed the guy have to get the water flowing to the wheel seems like there would be a boss fight in this whole area have to get the water flowing to the wheel but weirdly no such thing so maybe supposed to just shoot this and attach this and then we'll just rotate this and see what happens there okay They can't shoot that rope. Have to get the water flowing to the wheel. So I, I feel like I have to cut this rope. I don't know how I could cut this rope though. I mean it's just way up there. Let's see what rotating this does I mean that seems right have to get the way going to the wheel Not just supposed to burn that. Hmm. Am I supposed to make a platform? Perhaps to climb up there? It's the only thing that makes a lot of sense. So, inevitably, I, I do have to admit that having played like Mario 64 and some wheel. of those more simplistic, perhaps more iconic 3D platforming games with collectathon elements. Playing those first, right. being of that generation. Um, Have to get the water flowing to the wheel. I really did ruin the possibility of me liking a lot of other 3D platforming collectathon type games. Um, I've noticed that with several other games that I've tried to play, is that they either come off as being very difficult because they are rare they're, they're made by rare or one like the rare style of 3d platformers that are fairly difficult or they come off as being Um, just not particularly new 
or innovative. So every time you spin that, it seems it has a guy crawling up as an animation. I don't know if that really means anything though, unless we're going to see one of the guys. Can we go full circle? No. One assumes the water is coming up the center there. Yes. Well, I guess it isn't. I guess it's probably coming from the top still. This is really the first time we've had. Where they were coming from. A close look at the character. And yeah, they definitely look human. There, I got a headshot. Yeah, I'd say they look human humanoid enough to assume that they were human at one time and are still human. I still don't really see a way that you could have broken this. Well. Alright, so that begs the question, should I go this way or should I go this way? I guess the idea now is that the wheel is spinning, and because the wheel is spinning, we can use this to get through here. Interesting. And get to the other side. So now we're going to have to turn this other wheel and almost certainly just have basically the same encounter we just had the second time. I, I highly suspect we'll see no real change. Just have our shotgun ready find our crafting items I have decreased faith certainly in what I expect from this game so in that I wouldn't be surprised if we have to get the water flowing to the don't wheel. have even the time travel mechanic 
introduced. Have to get the water flowing to the wheel. Really is just the same hint over and over again. Seems really silly to have a silencer on the shotgun, but that have seems to, to be the, the case. The Noticeably, I did just get 60 uh, points for shooting two people in a row, which does confirm the my theory the that the game actually doesn't uh, independently show you XP and we'll just stack it and that can create that confusion I had many hours ago where it seems like I got 180 points for shooting one person in the head when really I got 150 points for finishing an area and 80 points. Hmm. So I guess this is the exit area and we're not ready to be here yet. To get the water flowing to the wheel. Hmm. Okay, water is coming down here. I guess we're spinning. This first. Good. This is promising. Anybody showing up? There's an effigy over here. Probably worth doing. Have to get the water flowing to the wheel. There's really no way. Have to get the water flowing to the wheel. Oh, we have to get in the water. Um. Break this, I guess. Oh, we've got to get a little bit higher so we can start to press X. There's just no way to switch between shotgun and bow and arrow easily or quickly. So if I was playing with the regular shotgun, I imagine this wouldn't be anywhere as easy. You see, when I do that and kill that, that doesn't seem like that gives you really more experience. It doesn't really feel like a great experience, I would say. Um, am I doing this wrong? It doesn't come off as just like the kind of shotgun where five or six people would get hit by the shotgun to start with. And I kind of question whether have to get the, to the other the sound effects that are playing here of other characters are perhaps exaggerated. Hmm. Oh. 
seems like I lined it up and not quite lined up enough. Or maybe you only trigger the cutscene when you have it when you manipulate the second one. Yep. And obviously you're not just gonna clear out the area. If you see a cutscene like that, and then it just skips the whole part of having to actually walk back to that point. It's a good thing none of the bodies uh, really drop anything important. So they have some kind of queen character. So we have another female character who potentially is going to be a final boss character, which can't really be the real final boss because you'd think Dr. Dominguez and Trinity would be the final boss. You look like those creatures, but they're graceful. They're shield, goddesses of protection. silver box of Ishal was forged in paradise and brought to earth. Did those creatures make the box? Neither false gods nor zealots shall be allowed to pass. They're protecting it. Is that why they fought me so viciously? Here they keep the box until the sun's renewal. I don't get why they would have called them goddesses of protection because clearly those didn't seem like female characters particularly if you're going to show me a a female form as their queen where's the box Feels like if you were going to say that the queen there is a goddess of protection, then you would say that the rest of these characters are her children. Yeah, what am I supposed to be doing here? I, the only thing that makes any sense at all would be to run like the Dickens. I'm not gonna fight these characters off. So it's just a chase sequence. You would think that even one good swing would probably have you away from a lot of these characters, but apparently not. They just keep coming. The problem with sequences like this, though, in my mind, is A, I think nothing I do is really going to let me die and if it did kill me it would just be annoying um, and I'd have to do it all over again. Sequences like that are interesting. That's a weird point to get an achievement as they're still shooting at me. Chase sequences like that are interesting in real world movies because you're seeing real world actors or stuntmen actually doing something um, once it's CGI, I think a lot of people lose interest in a game or in a movie if 
if the entire chase sequence was CGI. Um, and once you're in a video game, everything is CGI. So, so there's, at the very least, diminished returns for just speed up the swimming. I don't think there's anything worth that you need to collect here. Somehow, we're in the hidden city. It'll be interesting to see where this comes out. I mean, I knew we were going to end up in the hidden city, but they're counting this part as the hidden city, which pushes the square footage of the hidden city arbitrarily for further. I was about to look and the game just took control away from me. The fact that we didn't find the silver box potentially means there's more game. All full up. Can't carry any more. Which I guess it's good to know. I'm a little uncertain as to where I'm supposed to be going here. Like, on one hand, it seems like you could climb up and reach this. what is over here seems like absolutely nothing so oh, I guess you squeeze through here I really wouldn't have thought of that So we're now getting some kind of climbing boots or climbing, climbing cleats. And notice how they intentionally have set it up so that the pygmy creatures still will attack you. Um, I don't know where, why I have the golden dagger on the back of my jacket. I, maybe that's because I've changed to a different outfit and so canonically I've changed the story uh, as far as visuals or maybe there's some other reason for that. So it seems to me like the game is encouraging me to jump this way. And I guess maybe we would have needed to collect those boots before we could have gone any further. This game is still incredibly dark. How much resources, as far as gold pieces, do we have? Not a lot. Okay. So what's the deal with the climbing boots? Overhead, jump and press X to attach to the overhead overhangs hmm. 
took multiple tries there. I'm still really wishing that these overhangs had a lot more white chalk in them. Move the left stick forward to exit overhang, press A to jump to the ledges above. Now I kind of assume, I just got an achievement for that too, um, that we could have done that previously in either the second or third of this rebooted trilogy. If this is the third game and we're getting climbing cleats and we can jump on overhangs, that's not an amazing skill. If storyline wise I've just forgotten and we have somehow gotten the dagger, then finding the silver box would imply we were closer to the end of the game. Wow. The game just saved my bacon there. This is very awkwardly programmed from the feel of it. Press A to jump across gaps. Press X to reattach. This is where potentially falling because you didn't press X and you stumbled could get rather annoying so getting that skill so you never stumble might be a lot more valuable now There was also some hooks there. We can see also the physics has been rather messed up. Yes. Let's see. One of the things worth mentioning. Um, let's just reuse all of our resources. I could have done this a while ago. Um, is that while I almost never do this normally, I chose to install newer NVIDIA drivers for the graphics card. Um, we were having crashing. I suspect we'll still see some crashing, but if we're already having problems, it doesn't hurt things to potentially go further. Now, visual glitches don't have much hope of being fixed but stability things feel like a thing that you would try and fix even years later see there's some weirdness here certainly is trying to figure out what you're actually even capable of climbing on. I'll have to jump. There's no other way. <laughs> now, where is this going to reset me? Because I apparently messed up there. Uh, it reset me in a reasonable spot. I can already tell you though that I'm glad I haven't seen a lot of this in other sections of the game up until this point and I'm kind of hoping that we honestly don't do too much of this anyways. This is not particularly the game 
that we've been playing up until this point. Again, if you were going to have Lara Croft be a mascot and you were going to give me a small game where Lara Croft is just practicing no rock climbing. Throw the grapple axe with the axe while you jumping to reach out to the walls. Hmm. Seems like I'm not anywhere close. There. Hmm. Oh. This is a small thing, certainly, but since I did, um, did learn more about Tomb Raider, I believe it's in Tomb Raider Chronicles, since we have this flashback sequence of a 10 year old Lara Croft and the awkwardness of her being so much of a femme fatale object of male gaze or sexual attention um, um, in general. It, it was weird to have that flashback with her being 10, but there's even a more awkward sequence in, I believe, Tomb Raider Chronicles where a teenage Lara Croft to no is way. about to change and take off her top or shirt eh. and the she gets interrupted so you don't see anything but it's an odd thing to certainly tease um, underage teenage too right. well perhaps like there, there's kind of nothing you can do here when you go to the left any further you're just locked into this let's do this quicker now I, I must have to I must have to do it later at the like last second but we haven't done any of that before this is really a sequence that will bear if you were going to give Lara Croft some personality um, her saying something like I'm counting this as my workout for today or boy this is tough just something a little bit more than just the the grunts just having her say anything at all There's no other way. Okay. We're gonna jump and then we're gonna hit X late. Perhaps I also need to take my hand off the left trigger. That might be part of it too. Hmm. I may need to just look how awkward the physics are. I may need to figure out if there is something I'm missing here or if the game perhaps is glitched. It's not really fair to just call every point you're having frustration in a game glitched certainly but it certainly seems like this is the type of jump we would have done before no problem and I've never had a level of frustration like no this the grappled axe with axe while jumping to reach the rock walls Well, I hit the X, as I pressed A, it didn't work, then I hit it, the X fast. I cannot testify any further as to why that worked. Is it worth shooting people? Is it worth shooting people with guns? Okay. Yeah. 20 points definitely doesn't feel like the game 
cut you any slack on that point. Then we're crawling through an area. I think what you probably would have wanted to do is once you had let the cat out of the bag, once the parent company had really doubled down on selling lower cost using sex, which ironically, they, there's just sexism from both directions around lower cost in that first game and that they really wouldn't have wanted to make a uh, they didn't want to make a female protagonist game because their all their stats and all the history of never making a pre female protagonist game before told them that female protagonist games wouldn't sell. Um, of course, you're comparing like Tomb Raider one to Barbie games and things like that. Um, um, so it's not much of a comparison. Um, but then once Laura Croft became popular, they effectively changed her to be the female uh, femme fatale character. So to correct for that, when they decided they wanted to correct for it, it really they should have corrected for it in the second game, but they, they waited until basically the fourth game I guess I just have to avoid these piranhas. We're back to dying by piranhas. A lot of death sequences all of a sudden. Uh, but had they chosen to tone her down as a character, giving her kind of a tragic turn in their characterization, certainly could have helped with that. If there was someone she loved and respected and got married to and, and she had someone at home then she would be kind of off limits. I guess you're, you're using the grass to hide. And maybe that's what I was supposed to have been doing before last time we dealt with the piranhas. And I guess in this reboot series, you do have some of that where it does seem like the tragedies of the first game makes her more of a tragic character. And certainly the outfits of the first game in this trilogy didn't really make her put her in any real skimpy clothes but I think they overcompensated in this reboot wow so apparently I could have gotten somewhat close to that area but probably not the whole direction and here we can see our custom bow and our custom gun and the game makes me pack all that up and put back on the royal outfits. Yeah, in this reboot, I think they they go too far in that direction and make her just too tragic of a character, and the game just crashed. Um, so there is almost certainly a problem with loading in textures perhaps particularly in the hidden city but I think just the act of loading in textures and unloading textures is kind of a problem
we have 44% complete of through the game and by the looks of it it's also worth mentioning in one of the previous Tomb Raider games that there was a point where she was pulling more of a James Bond and attending a high-class party dressed in a fancy black dress with a lot of cleavage showing and noticeably people responded well to that at a certain point you get the audience you you target it a lot of times not always sometimes you get a completely different audience you never expected interesting I feel like this statue this monolith looked different before this describes something nearby the waters below protect me from the waters above. Hmm. Okay. The bottom part is damaged. How am I supposed to know what it says? Could mean anything. You see this? Potentially nobody I can talk to. She's just swiping it off, not using the knife. So we we'll want to go and see if we can do this side quest. I've long since forgotten what the side quest is all about. Then we'll talk to the princess and well, we'll talk to the rebels because, if I recall correctly, the princess was taken. Space for that. Seems like I should be able to climb this whole tree, but maybe I just don't have that ability yet. Whatever those things are, <laughs> doesn't really matter while they're chasing you. Who left those carvings of the heron and the eclipse? I have to talk to Unaratu about them. Okay, what do we want to increase here? Next weapon upgrades I think is probably one. Then we have like two more skill points, so does not probably help to do too much more all right we'll take the never slip and hope that's worth it reduce damage from falling hope that's worth it yeah and certainly I, I am just at this point where halfway through the game I, I just don't know how much I really would go for um, as far as upgrading things or crafting things let's see This one that's acquired versus these others. The accuracy being lower on this might be helpful. Hmm. Hmm. Can we craft any outfits though? Not really. Yeah, I, 
and the game crashed again. So should we try and play with some different visual options? Hmm. Or is it a case of the game just needs to crash a couple times? It's unlikely that that's the case. 47.17% complete, although that may literally be through the collectibles. I may be much closer to the end of the game. As far as storyline is concerned. Maybe the fire, entering the fireplace in the camp and exiting the camp caused the troubles. Overall, it seems to me like the city, for the most part, is the same. And I don't know if it really is worth getting collectibles father, father, and things. Go quick. It's the Ishiki. What do you want? We don't have time for Unuratu's rebellion right now. Are you Kabil? Uchu sent me for the king's... The king's horn? The call to the future? <laughs> Hmm. Look at the good that future's done for my present. Just go. Hmm. The cult found out my dad was making the horn. Hmm. They poisoned our crops as punishment. Mom got sick. My brother Kuali went to the market to get herbs, but he hasn't returned. That's hmm. terrible. Let me see if I can find your brother and get the herbs you need. Thank you. At a certain point, it is just going to come down to, yeah, yeah, the cult is bad. We know the cult is bad. Either let me fight them and kill them, or I don't have enough space leave me uh, just quit repeating itself. Excuse me. Ah, Ishiki. Hmm. How can I help you? I'm looking for Kuali, the son of Kabil. That hmm. poor boy. Chimali, one of Kukulkan's thugs, is holding him in a cell up at the market. Waiting for the Ahau to come to punish him. Thank you. Be well, Ishiki. Meanwhile, has the market changed much? It seems like it's a little bit more lively. There's more people around. Um. I don't think we have anything to buy here at all but we can get a general idea of just how much money we would have very good The gods favor us both. We're using such a small amount of resources otherwise. Here you go. That it it really does seem like you can just the gods have favor us both. five remaining of everything. Very good. Hmm. The gods favor us both. The danger of course around something like this would be that the some of these things both. might be hard to get more of. I still don't think I'd do Did anything with fear arrows the or poison arrows. Oh, and but I don't think I would want to sell. Too much more, maybe black powder. Noticeably here, um, we aren't really using the black powder. So that puts us at 17,000 gold. Hi there. Have to hit the Y Where button, not the A button. So. You have made an excellent choice, my friend. In I what I assume will be 
You have made a stupid move. Man. We'll just spend all that gold buying these Think things. I already have the lockpick, and I already have the ascender. Now they said they had him in a prison in the market. Noticeably, this doesn't seem like this is taking me to the it can't market. Be it has to be those children. Is something wrong? Hmm. Huh? Oh, uh, yes, yes. Something is terribly wrong. Every morning, I wake up and everything in my house has been moved. You said something about an aluge. Oh, yeah, we already no, talked to this guy. Aluge aren't real. It's the children. Uh, they enjoy tormenting me. You could block the entry, then they couldn't get in. I tried that. They still found a way in. Maybe I should... Okay. Down this direction we go. Noticeably, we stopped crashing, too. At a certain level, I'd prefer the game to just consistently crash, if that's what it's going to do. This is weird. Let's go all the way to the edge. Like, clearly the white is right there. I should be able to grab a ledge, and yet I can't. I guess we have to go back the way we came. <laughs> the push for visuals around Tomb Raider games, I now know for more certain, has been a major element um, even in the original game series. Although the first Tomb Raider game is pushing for visual as just being one of the very first low polygon 3D games to exist, whereas this game is pushing it even further. A herb thief. He must be very dangerous. Today it's theft, and tomorrow it's murder. That's quite a leap, don't you think? You really want to know what I think? I think we should round up all these little rats and drown them. Every one of them, especially Yumil. His father may be a serpent guard, but he is not. Okay, so go talk to your mill. So close. Hello there. Hey, you're Ishiki from the outside, right? Yes, it's nice to meet you. Well, me, I'm Yamil. <laughs> what sort of game are you boys playing? It's not a game. My father is a serpent guard, a priest. I took his ceremonial knife to show my friends. And Shimali the guard saw. Shimali knows what father would do if he found out I took the knife, so he threw it up there. Now it's stuck. Hmm. Oh, let me see now, what I can do. When you look at the background wow, really? of Thank you. the shot there, it's fairly rough. So perhaps maybe not put 
or put the kid in that position or move the cutscene just a little bit so you're standing this way so you could get a little bit better of a visual. So now we talk to him, I guess. Thank you, Ishiki. You're welcome. Hey, <laughs> wait a minute. The grown-ups around here always chase us away. <laughs> but you helped. What do you want? <laughs> Shh, I'll do the talking. So what it's do like you want? Two of them with the exact same me. face. Is there something we can Different do? Different outfits. Pay you back. I'm trying to help Kuali. You're too late. <laughs> He's been sentenced to death. We can't <laughs> do anything. And Chimali the guard <laughs> hates you. Would Chimali chase you if you provoked him? Why? Because if he's not at his post, I can get to Kuali. Yeah, I like it. Oh, you can tell Kuali to meet us at the cave. He'll know where it is. It'll be safe for him there. I will. Let's go. Asto, Remy, with me. Samin, watch our backs. Then run to the cave. Stand back, Ishiki. We'll give you an opening. Chimali Feels like coward. we should have... We, we should have known this gang of kids first. I find it a little off-putting that they would actively, like, kill the kid just for stealing herbs. Your brother told me of your troubles. Wait, who are you? Too many cutscenes in a way. I never wanted any of these to happen. I was only trying to help my mother get well. Where are the herbs? Mm. Give them to me. I will heal your mother. Go. Your friends are waiting for you at the cave. Mm. Thank you. Here are the herbs. I'll run as fast as I can. Notice that even in this game, as they're constantly pushing animation, there you just had a character miming handing herbs, but the herbs themselves are non-existent um, we still have not gotten to a point where a character can realistically pick up items without extra animation work being put around that and hand it to somebody else um, and two characters just handing objects to each other is still beyond modern visualization technology you come to cure her or to barter for the king's horn? Here, this will help you. Bless you, Shiki. Kabil. See, now wearing this horn. outfit, Here. you can we'll see she just has king. like a bone knife. Thank you. Not the fancy done. gold knife. Thank you. Maybe it was always a bone knife and it just looked fancy. Alright. So, otherwise, I guess, while there are things that could be done in this area, I'm kind of tired of collecting collectibles, particularly in an area that's going to crash. So let's just do the sub-quest and do the... Uh, do the main story. Laura, if you can hear me, hmm. I'm here. We're not at Unuratus. Hmm. We're in a cave nearby. The entrance is marked with a heron and an eclipse. On my way. Hmm. So now we're in a different place although the subquest still seems to point me in a different direction and I guess the mission giver is probably still the people I'm thinking of
Hmm. There it is. We may find that this mission giver is not actually here. Nope, he isn't. So. Either he walked away or he's in the secret cave. I'd have to assume he's in the secret cave. It does seem like it's just pointing downward. Whoops. But what does it even matter if you fall? I, I assume that this cave was not available earlier. Support. Do you have it? It was a trap. The box was taken and Unaratu was captured. We heard. We're working on a plan. She's being held at the prison by the old temple. Akan led a raid and was taken too. We'll charge the bridge that leads to the prison. It's aggressive. What if I climb up here? free her and then signal to attack that could work let's leave scouting the temple in the upper district we could find your way in i'll go talk to him we'll have backup ready once you get her out sounds good for strength and safety thank you Laura. so now we're getting another outfit we'll apparently out. But yeah, we have this cutscene and you'd think that you'd walk out of this cutscene and you'd still be able to talk to your quest giver character. I have no idea where we are though. Like mission giver, mission available. Yeah. Skull cave. Is I guess what this is called. And then the main story pushes us this way we know that this mission is DLC serpent guard armor tunic and headdress worn by the serpent guardians is the mission giver uh, this is the finishing of a mission have more rebels been captured hmm. Ishiki maybe you can help I sent five men to steal the cult of Kukulkan's weapons for the rebellion the mission failed hmm. in former times I would have led them myself but now I can't fight this I isn't the, the guy or else I start to cough up blood but I'm still a good planner hmm. or I was until today my comrades were caught and strung on post throughout the lower village as a warning they're going to hang there until they die hmm. you said I might be able to help yes with your serpent guard attire you can untie all four of them and no one will suspect you hmm. Four. You said there were five men on the mission. There were. Kolki was leading them, but he wasn't captured along with the others. Nobody's seen him. He's probably been killed. I'll see what I can do. So that's kind of the exact opposite of what I wanted to do. I didn't want to take on any more side missions. Where are we? We just started another side mission, so can I not complete the other side mission? Just got 25 XP for doing something. This was the guy I was trying to talk to. Last to leave and first to return. Jonah's stories of you are true. The king's horn, as requested. Did the beer give you any trouble? You were right about his wife. She definitely had a way with his heart. Thank you for this, Lara. 
Of I course. totally have forgotten the first part of this side Would quest. You, what did you mean, last to leave and first to return? The men I have retrieving the other two items, they both left three days ago. Neither has returned. Hmm. Do you think something's happened to them? It's Quincy that concerns hmm. me the most. He's young, likes to take risks. Hmm. Jumps into the water before checking to see how deep hmm. it is. I know the type. Jonah. Jonah's right. Yeah, I we've kind of forgotten about perfectly. Jonah. As a I character. I should have sent Quinty to that damn place. Mm, what place is that? The old cistern. Mm. It's where the remains of Manko are kept hidden from the cult. Who is Manko? Mm. He was a farmer who led Sairi and Amaru's ancestors mm. out of Cusco to safety centuries ago. He is known as the peasant mm. savior. It's his amulet we need for the coronation. So we're going to have... Manko hidden away? Like Manko's three cutscenes in a row. Of the peasant savior. This rebellion was born from mm. it. When the cult of Kukulkan first took power, they tried to wipe out the order. Manko was hidden away in a secret place and kept safe. But over time, as the order dwindled, the memory of that place has faded. How long has this cult been like, in charge? Feels like it would have just been back the King's Horn a few decades at most. I don't mind, really. Maybe Quenty can show me the best cliffs to jump off. Please don't encourage him. The entrance to the cistern is a cave above the white tree. Follow the trail. It'll lead you to it. Okay. Well, I thought that was going to be... I shouldn't have done that. Interesting Jonah sat next to me. We'll hope that doesn't cause a crash. At the very least, let's not start DLC mission giver stuff. Yeah, how do we exit? Yeah, I really don't even want to cast from copper with an embedded axe blade. Look at these items. Like, I'm fine with a small item like that with a single sentence description, but we know this gets out of control. Listen to yourself. It's a myth. It, it just doesn't really feel like you would come back to this area that often. It's out of the way. Okay. So we've played potentially the first half of this game. Let, let's just save this and see what this says. Like 717, 42% today is 722. So it's been five days since I last played, 47%. Um, so yeah side quests give us a little bit more storyline yes amongst the characters not much storyline as far as the main plot or Laura Croft herself um And then side quests give us XP, which then give us abilities, which for the most part we don't really need. May they all be cursed. Alright. Am I supposed to hit X or Y? Have you come to finally kill me? I'm not with the cult. I'm a friend here to free you. That's an effective disguise. Can you use it to free the others? Find Kolkwi? I hope so, but I don't know what happened to him. He's alive. Again, that's Kolkwi's a great example alive. of In the, confusion, the animation I style still being really bad. Retreat. I'm sure he's alive. Like he didn't have really, really have ropes around his wrists. 
she didn't really untie ropes around his wrist. They just pantomimed it and pretended like it was the case. Um, hmm. So this seems like this is just going to let me walk right up to this area and I guess squeeze right through and not even talk to the person. This would have been the rebellion attempt. All these foreign soldiers, far more rebels than cultists. And we have a visual glitches. Hmm. Squeezing in between people, you would think that they would probably knows she's a female if not notice her directly as not being of the right like skin tone the collection or, of reeds bundled together with rope and stone is used as a calendar size usually representing a 52 year cycle It seems like we may increasingly see more and more places where we can get money. But I question what you spend the money on other than buying resources to stitch up outfits. In all fairness, if I didn't have the deluxe edition of this game, I probably would engage a lot more with the um, outfit improvement just to get more resources but it's still the same cycle regardless of whether you get a jump ahead or you don't uh, it's still a process where you're gathering resources to upgrade your outfits to gather more resources um, there isn't that obvious crossover between getting gold or getting panther hides or anything like that um, this describes something nearby they stand back to back two brothers in arms I lie at the feet of the one who watches the shaded serpent So, I assume this is, seems like it's back where we came from. is the direction we're going wasn't really expecting that you would have a whole extension the question if we're actually ever going to reach that area of the hidden city to the point where, where there would be this large collection of people particularly just how many of them have been arrested. Here we have a lady in a different kind of dress. Haven't seen that one before. But also, I guess maybe this is the upper city 
and the upper class people. I guess that might make some sense. That the rebels aren't just like attacking the cult alone, they're also attacking the upper city citizens who are who are empowering the cult. Bulging eyes. Fangs. This is Tlaloc, the Aztec god of rain and storms. In his gentler temperament, he's also the god of water and fertility, bestowing life and sustenance. But on the other side of the coin, he's responsible for thunder and lightning, hail, and the other destructive aspects of water, including erosion, affiliating him with caves, pools, and springs. Oddly enough, he lives in a mountain. His bird is the heron, but he's associated also with animals like snails, frogs, and other amphibians. What I would say is a game like this really needs a museum section if you're going to have all these collectibles. Something more than just bringing up the uh, just something more than just bringing up the, the map and then coming over through all these artifact sections. Of course, if the game is crashing loading in the amount of textures they're trying to load in right now, loading in even more textures in a museum section would be tricky. Do you think there will be any more of these uh, uprisings? Market day has been completely hmm. disrupted. I'm sure there'll be a solution to this conflict soon. Well, I hope so. Never really occurred to me that the city itself might be split into into different sects but also I just don't think that matters in the in the Tomb Raider games that they've made in this trilogy Lara Croft just doesn't talk to people or interact with people for being a researcher let's just call her that that's what she describes herself as she does very little conversating with the locals to research anything or to just have that generic gotcha. personality <clears throat> yeah so what's the value in talking to these guys you can't talk to them they're just marked as enemies This definitely feels like a game that you could speedrun pretty easily. Lara, hmm. your serpent guard disguise is good. I then we're back the to this boy. The prison where they're holding my mother. Innocent hmm. eyes will blink at dawn when weakness falls away. Hmm. Understood. We'll get her out, Atsley. There's one more thing. Pakan has been captured. He's hmm. my friend Kiara's dad. If he's sacrificed, I... I'll see what I can do. So it looks like there's a temple on the side of the wall. It seems like they practice in some form of either slavery or this is a trial. It looks to me like it potentially is slavery. Although it could be a little bit of both. Enslavement due to criminal activity. Hmm. What could have gone really weird here is that you could have ended up talking to a lot more characters. And so they've done done us a favor by having 
the vast majority of these characters being unimportant character place fillers. Hmm. Of course the video game player in me says let's just let's just start this and get away from that door. Your rebel father will die for his actions. Start shooting everybody. That must be Kiara, the girl Etsy mentioned, which means her Khan is in that cell. I've got to find a way to get him out. Well, it seems to me. Like... It's too heavy. I'll need to find some help. Yeah, it seems like I would pull one of these. It's too heavy. I need to find some help. So we're gonna have to cause an uprising of some sort. It is sad that a little girl will be orphaned today, but maybe this execution will send the right message. This rebel straight man, the harmony of Paititi. Some believe that harmony only applies to those of us here in the upper city. With respect, how? But. I did not choose this life. It was a gift from the gods. All life is a gift. So I don't know if we had a full conversation there, but it seemed like we did. I'm sorry, Ahau. Please don't hurt me. I only wanted to say goodbye to my father. I'm not going to hurt you, Kiara. I'm with the rebellion. How do you know my name? Your friend Etsley told me I should help you. The village still doesn't feel big yes. enough that you wouldn't so recognize you people and know their names. My father blames Kukulkan for mother's death. Hmm. I told him that nothing would bring her back, but he didn't listen. He tried to kill Kukulkan and now he's going to die and I will be left all alone. Hey, hmm. it'll be okay, little one. Maybe I can help. Really? There are other rebels here in the square. They want to help as well, but... They're too scared. Maybe you can convince them. I'll do whatever I can, Kiera. I promise you, I won't let them take your father from you. Thank you, Ahau. Call me Lara. Now, what's interesting about this side mission, in particular since it is side mission stuff, uh, we are seeing just not really a lot of reaction from Laura Croft like not a lot of compassion considering her father's dead her mother's dead she can directly Don't relate to that I'm a friend of Unaratu's I'm trying to free the prisoner and I need your help of course but those guards will kill us if we get too close deal with them first then I will do what you need okay I'd like to see the prisoner. With respect, Ahau, but he is to be executed on orders from Kukurkan himself. And may I also suggest you leave the square for your own safety. Interesting. I want to free the prisoner, but I can't do it alone. You must be the Ashiki Unuratu spoke of. If you can make it safe, I will help open the door. Just grab something. While he's talking. Blessings, Ahau. Are you enjoying the executions? The executions? Of course, but I need you to stop the prayers for now. Hmm. Who else are we supposed to be talking to? I'm sure there's a reason. So remain alert all the same. Would you play your instruments for an envoy of the gods? We would be honored, Ahau. Still not really sure what's going on here. Forgive me, Ahau, but are you not concerned? Concerned? About what? Kukulkan has been collecting so many people for sacrifice lately. And not just rebels that I... Well, you feel there is too much death. I know what must be paid to the gods to keep the sun from dying. But you needn't worry. This wave of death will end soon. Trust me. Okay. 
so they okay. moved. The guards are gone. Let's move now. It's safe now. Help me open the door. Yes, I must move. This should do it. Is this bird not going to be involved at all? He's just sitting here. Like, I can't even, like, open the... I couldn't open the the weapon priest. menu. Don't worry, I'm a friend. I do not have any friends that look like you. Trust me, no. I'm a wolf in sheep's clothing. Your daughter's waiting. Can you walk? It's questioning, questionable whether that Damn. phrase would even yeah. mean anything to them. Oh, get someplace safe. I will find you. Now I use the instinct, so I immediately I'll saw that this out. is here. Anything else in the prison? Nope. Here. Stay close. These are the old barracks. This way. Kiara, I am now what's going to be irritating is that this is going to potentially take me far away from where I was, which is going to make it further. If we work together, we can move this stone. Frustration to get back to the main story sections thank you for showing me the way you helped not that the way to what's important to my daughter here this knife it belonged to my wife i was going to kill kukul khan with it i have no use for it now so we now have a knife upgrade that harvests more resources next to some emeralds So sorry, my sweet child. Let me look at you. I promise I will never leave. This you again. cult Come on. is really doing Let's a bad on. job of like maintaining a long term authority. Like you can only brutalize so much of your civilization before a rebellion forms. And you can only scare people for so long. See, I guess I could go potentially talk to all these people again, but I don't know what they would. No more executions today, Ahau. The last prisoner has escaped. I don't know if there's really you good reason to talk to him. When the guards came back to their post, we had to release the door. Hmm. I am sorry. Did a very brave thing. I hope it it does feel very natural. I know it has inspired me. It does feel natural that you would go back and talk to these characters. Only the exalted and knowing may enter this sacred ground. Hmm. Innocent eyes will blink at dawn when weakness falls away. You may enter. Okay. Before we enter, let's look over here. Hmm. I'm still only really getting one leather hide from these drying racks. I'm just stealing other people's stuff. Lockpick. It gave us 10 gems, 50 things, and a piece of jewelry. These so, ornaments are in pristine condition. Hmm. They contain a carved out illustration of a winged beast with a pronounced trunk and a torch or staff in its hand. Hmm. This type of jewelry is a symbol of wealth and prosperity, maybe even belonging to royalty. So we now know that these treasure chests that were locked at the lockpicks can only be interesting that she talks whenever I 
not every time I do instincts, but every now and then. Um, so you're never going to get all of the artifacts unless you basically get everything on the map. Um, including treasure chests, which probably was fairly obvious in the first place. Also certainly explains why we're only at 35% unlocked on the hidden city. Yeah. And it looks to me like there's still a fairly significant amount of the hidden city going all the way to this ford of the river and then potentially a whole nother city although it may also just be this leads to just a path that is a tomb or something so yeah if I'm not going to really care about getting all of the items then what are you looking for everything is for sale except Remax drum Right, so we have some gold ore, which we can sell. Good deal. We have some jade ore, Thank you. which we can sell. And then we will again. We'll just keep about five. Enjoy it. Of that. I don't know if I've really picked up anything else. In larger numbers I could sell this for 300 good deal and I can sell this for Enjoy. 640 so I could buy this nep 14 which would be a higher rate of fire gain uh, item or I could buy the laser sight for all rifles which I don't know how many times we're really going to engage with that or I could sell a little bit more um, to get this outfit I think we buy this first Good deal. and then we leave everything else alone Good luck, Lara. she knows your lower craft doesn't really seem like there's any real secrets or things that you can miss there is a document further in this direction all full up can't carry any more I do question potentially what this a modded version of this game would be if rifle. you the just tried to have an abridged version memory, and from a model. you just That's had the character walking to from submission to submission main mission point to main mission point i guess yeah if, if i could could pull it off if i could start a video game company this is a new outfit a new hairstyle for a little girl uh, I probably would try to make some kind of video game company that would make mods and abridge games and see if we could possibly license the technology out to the original creators of games or resell old games in particular past their uh, initial launch window so it looks like we're gonna have pools of mercury let's just see if they hurt us in any way this could just be pools of oil though not really mercury they're not very it's not reflective until we succeed, and you're no longer a threat. You say this to my face? You know I am honest. Hmm. And time was, 
Amaru, remember who you are. I am one of you. Yeah. Is that why you had me arrested? If my brother was alive, rest his soul. Yeah, he would think this bickering is a waste of time. Come home. We jumped some of the dialogue. I am home. This is home. Hmm. Unaruto, dream for a moment. How will Baititi prosper when dawn comes in a world without threats coming from the outside? Aren't you such a threat? Remake the world? We all create destiny together as we are. Everything I've ever done has been for Baititi. Everything. When it was divided, I unified it! I am the only one who sees the real threat here. You come and go as if your life here is optional. Yes. I have lived the outside world and I have seen what's to come. Every day it encroaches. Paititi will not survive its invasion. Everything we are will be taken or destroyed. Well, then we must fight for it together, according to the will of its people. By restoring the sun. Hmm? That will only ensure Baititi's safety for a moment. But then, it doesn't protect us from discovery, invasion. Our destiny is to be doomed. No! No, we... We must be bold, decisive. Act with me. I need your intelligence, your resilience in my world. A world ruled by the cult of Kukultan? Or should I say Trinity? It's control you want, you can have it. Just help me now ensure Paititi's safety, and then, by all means, you can govern it as you wish. I will give you the throne. I will do it. No. I will find the box and restore the sun. May its light be your judge. Why do you think so little of me? Take her back to herself. You can send me back, but I will never betray your people. No, you will just fail them. The box is gone. A missionary, Andres Lopez. He stole it 400 years ago. What? You just wasted your life searching in the wrong place. Leave me now. So now we know what the deal with Andre Lopez is. I don't really get the idea here of them kind of making Dr. Dominguez more of a relatable character, although they've done a pretty poor job of making him just a supremely evil character either. That background shifted very weirdly. Um, so it seems like they, they've intentionally done this in a way so that the, the, the he'll maybe have a shift of being a good guy at the last second. A patchwork of several cultures. Hmm. I'll need to study their rituals, their beliefs, and learn how we can use their own gods against them. The ones from across the water are devious and intelligent. I do not doubt the city will soon be united under the control of Kugul Khan. So, yeah. We can't chase after him. 
looking for, I guess, a way to kill them. I have a lot of collectibles here. In order to not upset an already delicately balanced situation, all members of Trinity will adhere to the following rules. Limit excursions in the city. If leaving the compound is unavoidable, always wear the cultist uniform. Do not carry modern weapons. Avoid direct contact with Pytitians when possible. Yeah, it doesn't really make a lot of sense how Trinity is really run by Dr. Dominguez, though. It seems to me like there somebody else would have to be manipulating him. In an effort him. to reduce the possibility of disease entering Paititi, Emperor Shika hereby temporarily bans all citizens from exiting the city. Anyone currently beyond the city's limits will not be authorized to re-enter. Paititi is still recovering from a recent epidemic, and any other outbreaks could tip the already precarious balance. By order of the cult of Kuku Khan. Yeah, and no telling when that order was made. Nice gold walls. Um, very shiny, reflective. It seems to me like black and yellow the whole across his face marks this as order is still in place. Very important god to the Aztecs. Let's see if I can remember everything he was associated with. Jaguars, hurricanes, the night winds, the night sky, earth, the north, sorcery, beauty, temptation, leadership, war, strife, interpersonal conflict in general, and of course obsidian and divination. His right foot is often replaced with a piece of reflective obsidian, which the Aztecs used as mirrors, and these mirrors figured in shamanic rituals and prognostication. Tezcatli poker literally means smoking mirror. I feel like there was a broken sword game called the smoking mirror. I think that was the second game. Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if everything that was just said was real. But also I don't know if it really matters. It doesn't seem like getting any of this information matters. At all. I'm just not that bad of a player, though, to, to walk by these things and not pick them up. Between the heathens and those who toil in the Lord's light, we're the first mm. to come forward, the first to listen, to hear of the state mm. of the outside world. And thereupon, several of them felt completely mm. cheated and begged to be baptized. They reasoned mm. rightly. Their worship and trust was misplaced in the traditional deities of these lands. For as one stated, if your God has brought you here, across the world, then he truly must be the most powerful, and only a fool would not bow to such a being. We will teach these shamans English, and have them teach the population of Paititi. What's funny about this is this does imply that Trinity really is some kind of pre-christian cult or christian cult um but they said i thought they said at least from what i recall that they they were around before christianity can i just go down and potentially find something this is just way too many collectibles in one place the shadows loom long and dark hmm. the mountain black as night in mourning as the strange pale men end the short but immensely productive life of Kaiyuaka Park. He whose yearning for greatness lashed this city to his shoulders and carried it upwards, who only ever asked for Enti to warm his brow as he worked in the streams or fields or brickyards. Kaiyuaka Park made a deal with the strange men. He gave his life so that we may live ours, free but under the new rule of these men from distant lands. It does just imply to me that there's not going to be much of a game past this point. Another group of children is on their way from Khan, traveling via steamship. Of the ten I have sent, please keep a close eye on the one called Amaru. 
He shows the greatest promise. However, he is prone to bouts of sullenness and often complains about missing his brother. I suggest a special curriculum be created for this one. Something that will keep him too occupied to be homesick. So we're just getting like the backstory of her uh, finding out that Amaru was taken by Trinity as a kid and seems to be brainwashed. Now, I guess I guess I can come down here. We'll see what we can find. Hmm. That was just resources. I was seeing some white lights, but I think that may just be visual glitches. Hmm. Wife of NT, daughter of Viracocha and mother of the founders of the Incan Empire. Likely another artifact extorted from the people of Paititi by the cult. Hmm. Hopefully this is the last thing. This is Tonatia, the sun god and ruler of the Aztec heaven, which they called Tolan. He was literally the sun itself, the fifth one, in fact, presiding over the fifth age after the four previous suns had perished. The Aztecs believed they had to sacrifice to him regularly, or else he would refuse to move across the sky. He was strongly associated with eagles, unsurprisingly, and was often depicted wearing their feathers and carrying weapons such as arrows and shields or instruments specifically created for human sacrifice. Yeah. There is definitely a problem with the idea of having an apocalypse happen and then like setting it based off of this South American uh, depiction of the end of the world. Because it, it would get very redundant if you were to try to make another Tomb Raider series and have a different type of apocalypse or end of the world scenario happen. Massive amount of stuff here that we just collected. Weirdly, it's still just a part of the hidden city, but we now know why there were such high numbers on a lot of these collectibles there is five caves that we haven't found any of them five, five tombs in the hidden city there is still 22 documents in the hidden city uh, I don't even know what that icon is after documents it might be challenge tombs but it seems like that's a lot to have found eight challenge tombs and have 23 more to find it can't possibly be tombs there's a massive amount of supply caches there's three more monoliths um, there's two more of the uh, murals which we've really stopped finding murals there's ten more artifacts to collect that's a lot of stuff when the game is just going to throw it all in your face it's fairly silly to just walk past it hmm. it doesn't seem like there'd be another language that we would unlock so we are basically moving our percentages up from fluent to I don't know what you would even label past fluent it may just be you get to 100% fluence fluency in that is it this is a nice big room for nothing to happen that seems very weird
Yeah. And as far as the game goes, we saved earlier and we were at 47%. Let's save now and see where we are now, 49%. So moving the story forward even just a little bit is pushing that percentage higher. Now I am in this weird position where having taken a fairly large break in between the last recording and this one, I would have hoped that I was a little bit more invigorated, a little bit more interested in playing this game. But in all actuality, no, it's the same thing that just grinds you down over and over again. And this past two hour experience has had some of the best examples of the problems with this game crashing wonky physics with trying to make jumps that just don't work way too much collectibles way too much side quests the deluxe mode adding more side quests is very unwelcome at this point way too much of an emphasis on outfits which do nothing for you way too much of an emphasis on resources lore croft not being emotional enough or just not really having enough characterization to make her feel uh, feel like a human being at all if anything in this third game of the reboot series i want the sunglasses angel of death lore croft somebody who is very capable i want her to be a lot more acrobatic in her movements um, and i want her to have almost duke nukem like quippy one-liners as she's shooting people and as she's talking to people and we're just not getting that obviously but we're not getting anything uh, anyways I'm not ready to give up yet on this game I, I am gonna try and power through all the way to the end though that's gonna be it for this recording as always I ask you to like share subscribe comment and watch every second of my videos if you want to support me further there's some links down below in the description box thank you for watching have a good evening